gives me great pleasure to introduce Carol Evans, who tells me that she has been the director for Scotland at the National Autistic Society for three years and one month. It's not that she's counting the days and the hours. <laughs> I better not say that, particularly as the boss is here today. Um, but Carol, uh, welcome and uh, over to you. Autism affects one in 100 people. It's a serious, lifelong condition, and it has a profound and often devastating effect on people's lives. Not just the individual who has it, the parents, the grandparents, the siblings, carers, and I'm sure many of you here tonight know exactly what I'm talking about. It's lifelong, yet many people have the misconception that it's a childhood condition and that you somehow grow out of it. That's just not the case. You have it for life. The research we undertook to write this report was to raise awareness of the issues facing adults with autism. I exist is their story. It's their isolation, the bullying, the frustration. It's their cry for help because they just don't get the support that they need or the services that they need. And it's telling us what the unmet needs are. I recommend you to read it. Recently there's been quite a lot of media attention on autism and I'm sure you won't have missed some horrific pictures of self-injury for people with autism. And I can't think of anything that would be more frightening for a parent than to watch their own child of whatever age to self-injure and break bones and continually do it and not knowing why or how to stop it or to take away their pain. There's also a recent programme with Stephen Wiltshire. You might well have saw that. You can picture a building and then draw it from memory. Absolutely stunning and there you have it, two complete opposite poles of a very broad spectrum. spectrum. In doing this report, we wanted to know what differences would make, we could make, or anybody could make to an adult with autism to improve the quality of their lives. Our Chief Executive, Mark Lieber, who's here today, will talk more about what the report revealed. But I just wanted to concentrate on one aspect of it. The adults in our survey told us that they wanted help to create a social life to make friends, or a friend, a special friend. They felt that if they could do that, that would relieve their anxiety about life, instead of just being on their own all the time, or just relying on their family and their, their brothers and sisters. Because 53% of the people we surveyed had depression. 57% of them suffered from anxiety. And you can quite easily understand how that would spiral downwards and 31% of them had developed severe mental health problems. But they felt that if they'd had just a bit of support to develop their own social networking skills, a lot of those feelings of anxiety and depression would never have happened or could be alleviated and that they could gain confidence to do something more with their lives. They wanted to go on to college and a lot of them want a job. 84% of them are unemployed, which is almost unfathomable. It's, it's outrageous. They also want to be less of a worry to their parents. And some of you are parents here tonight, and you all worry who's going to look after them when you're no longer able to. We run social groups and befriending services just to do that, to help people with their social skills and networking skills and learning how to interact with other people to broaden the circle of people that they know about. But we don't run them all the way across Scotland and nobody pays us to do them, so we have to constantly try and fundraise just to run them. And they're not even expensive. But where we do run them, they make a world of a difference to the adults who join in. It makes a huge difference to the quality of their lives largely among volunteers. 
They cost money to run, it's not much. It's not a high cost service. But in doing it, we are just at the tip of the iceberg. Our campaign, I exist, asks for more such services. We don't care who delivers it, we just want them to be delivered. We want simple things like that to be put in place so that people, the quality of their lives will improve. So we want you to sign up to our campaign. Sign up to have more services like that. And campaign to change people's lives. Thank you very much.